Hello everyone, welcome to Clashing Coder. So in this video, we will see the question 1221 that is split a string in balanced strings. So this is a lead code question and it can be asked in an interview because it is an easy level question or it, it can be asked as a level 1 question for a competitive programming if you would have tried code forces or code shape. So let's see the problem statement then I will explain you how we can solve this question efficiently and I will also give you provide you the code in the description along with explaining the code. So let's see. So given the balanced strings uh, balanced strings are those who have equal quantity of L and R characters. So that means that means it is clear that a string which is uh, of uh, consisting of only L and R is given, and we, uh, a balanced string is that which has equal number of Ls and Rs. The number or count of L and R are equal. So given a balanced string S, split it into maximum amount of balanced strings. So we are given a string S which is totally a balanced string. That is, if we take a whole string and we have to break it into maximum amount of balanced strings. So return the maximum amount of the splitted balanced string. So let's see the example. So you can see in this example we are given a string. You can see this also. Uh, I will explain you with this. So you can see this example. If we th we are given a total string S. So in this, all the number of uh, left and uh, R and L symbols or uh, characters are equal. You can see R occurs. You can see five times and L also occurs four times. So we have to return the maximum number of the substrings which we can get from this string total string which is also all the substrings should also be the balanced string so you can see in this example so this is the string if we, you can see we break it like r and l you can see r and l so uh, left and r and l uh, are equal so you can see count of r and l are equal so this is a balanced string and if you can see we can take this uh, three l's and three r's you can see this string so this is also a balanced string because the number of l's and r's are equal and you can see then the string will be l and r so we can at most we can make three uh, three uh, substrings which are the balanced strings for this given string so we have to return that number you can see three so we for similar for this example you can see l and r so you can see there are equal number of l and r's but you cannot break a string because you will not get a equal number of l and r if you can see if you try to take this substring or you can, you can try to take any substring you will, won't be able to find equal number of l and r's in any substring because you can see this is of different structure so here the answer will be one only because their total string is balanced or, or you can see balanced string so that is why we will simply turn one so in this example also you can see the, the string that we are given here we can uh, we can break it into you can see r and l then we can only break into r r and this l l and r l l so therefore the answer for this string will be two so you can see two so you can see the constraint so a string size will be uh, between one to one thousand so that is not a big size so we can handle it easily so this condition we know that the string will only consist of capital l and capital r so let's see the example uh, again i will explain you the example more detail in with detail then i will explain the approach then the algorithm so let's see so this is an example that we didn't uh, see so you can see this uh, string that we are given so it only consists of r and l uh, right, characters so let's see uh, how many uh, we can how many strings substrings we can get which are balancing from this total balance string so let's see so here you can see uh, till this string you can see l and uh, r and r r and l are equal the number of r and l are equal one one so that means we can get but one substring this and then we can try to take this but this will be not having equal number of l and r and because it does not have any l only so this one this will be also not uh, equal balancing so this one so this is the one that we can get so the number will increase to two so now you can see this will be uh, again this can be uh, taken as a substring which is a balancing r and l then this can be also taken so that means the total number of balanced substring that we can get from this total balance string is actually four for this example and let's check out the answer so you can see the answer is four for this so for this example you can see this is the, this example is same so you can see the here we can break this r and l so they are equal number of r and l then we can try to break this but here the l is not there so that means we cannot take this also so therefore the you can see we cannot take any of the substrings from this uh, substring actually you can see there will be no uh, equal number of l and r's so that is why we will have to take whole substring so it will be you can see three l's and three r's uh, you can see this four l's and four r's so that is why the answer for this will be two actually so let's see this example actually you can see l l so this example you can see output is two you can see we can take, uh, take only this two substrings from this total balancing so therefore the answer will be two so now let's see how we can approach this question actually so this is actually i will uh, give you a hint this is actually a observation based question because if you see we don't have to make any substring or we have actually have to split the string so what we can do is you can see we the, every l is dependent or every balance string is dependent on the number of r's and number of l's and if it uh, we traverse from the uh, to the from this thing you can see we will traverse from the left right to this thing and we will check at what point 
if the number of R and L's are equal. If you see all the substrings that we are making from this total string is actually when the number of R's and L's are equals. We don't care about where the R and L exist. We care about the point at which point the R and L are equal. So you can see at this point we know that number of R and L. So what we can do is we can make two pointers. We can make two counters actually C1 and C2. So L and R you can make. So at every point we, if it is R. So we will simply increment the first pointer. If a counter. If it is L we will simply increment the second counter and at every point we will keep checking if these two counters are equal. If these two counters are equal that means we have found a balance string. So we can simply increment our result. So we can simply increment our result. You can, you can see so at this point our R and L will become equal. So these counters will become equal. So we will simply get this. So what we can do is when we get them equal so we will have to reinitialize them. We will set them to zero because the next window will start with the fresh counters. So we will simply set them to zero. So they will again be set to zero. Now again we will traverse over the string and we will find that. So that is why we I will tell you that when you get this question you should always try to observe some things. So here as I told you we don't have to make any string. So this is is actually a simple basic question easy level question so you can simply solve it using two counters as I told you so let's see the algorithm then I will explain you that uh, with the dry run so this is the pseudo code that I've written so as I told you we will have to make two counters actually left and right or you can do it with one counter also but I will make two counters for easy understanding and this result variable that we have to return it will consist of the maximum number of balanced substrings that we can make so what we will do is we will traverse from this thing from left to right we will traverse from left to right and at every point so we have initialized R and L these are our variables or counters okay so at every point we will traverse so this uh, at this point you can see this is r so we have written you can see these conditions if and else so if the character is r this character is the traversing that we are doing so if character is r we will simply increment our r pointer or r counter sorry so at every point we will check if our left and r become equal so now you can see left is zero because it is initialized to zero so these are not equal so we know that it uh, at this point we have only started the array traversing the array so the uh, balancing cannot be there so we will simply uh, go to the next uh, traverse so we will come here next iteration actually so we will come here now it will be l so we will check l if character is equal to go to r so it is not r so that means it is l so we will simply increment our l so it will become one and th at this point we know that this is a balanced string you can see this is a balanced string number of r's and l are equal they are both one so we will check uh, that this condition if l is equal to, equal to r so you can see l is one and r is also one that means we have found a one uh, substring or one substring actually which is a balancing. So we'll simply increment our result that we have to run return so our result is incremented so it will become one so now we come to this point r so here uh, at every point as i told you when we get this we will what we do is we simply reinitialize our l and r to zero actually because for every window we should have the fresh counters so we'll simply increase uh, reinitialize them and make them zero you can see make them zero so now at this point r will be incremented so it will become one at this point again r will become 1 because l is 0 and r is 1 so that is not equal so that we will iterate next time so it will r will come here or this point will come here and r will be incremented it will become 2 so now l is 0 and r is 2 so that means we have not found any substring which is a balancing so again we will increment about uh, this pointer and it will point to this so now the character is l so l's part will be done so l uh, this left will be incremented it will become 1 so now again for the next iteration it will come here and l will become so now when we reach here we will check this condition if l is equal to equal to r so you can see l is 2 and r is 2 so that means we have found more substring which is a balanced substring actually you can a string you can see r r and l l two number or two r's and two r l's so that means this is uh, incremented so so we will increment sorry we will increment our result so it will become 2 so now we will reinitialize our left and right pointer so they will become 0 0 let me this so I hope you are understanding how I'm doing this. So I will uh, directly write it. You can see it, they are reinitialized. Then again, at this point, when we come here, R and L will be incremented. So they will become equal. So we will simply increment our result. So it will become three. So and they will be reinitialized. They will become zero again. Now again, at this point, when we uh, traverse these two uh, characters actually r and l will be same and then again our result will be incremented and we have found our result so the result is 4 so we can simply return our result so this is totally a observation based question this is nothing this has nothing to do with strings or like anything so you can simply use two counters as i told you and a result variable that you have to return or you can simply write one counter and you can increment when you get r and you can decrement when you get uh, by one when you get l so when it will become zero that means when the number of uh, r and number of left uh, get cancelled so the result will be zero so you can simply uh, increment over uh, this
result variable at that time and the time complexity for this will be simply o of n or the length of the string because you are only traversing the string one time and the space complexity will be o of n because you, we are just using the variables to keep the count of the result and the uh, number of right and left so let's see the code i will also provide the code in the description you can check the code from there so let's see so uh, you can see i've simply initialized uh, right and left to zero like these are the counters and this is our uh, result that we have to return and this is uh, the interfacing the c plus plus actually so you can see this is a simple auto loop or you can see the modern for loop in the c plus plus 14 plus so you can see character for every character in the string we will check if the particular character is equal to equal to r then we will increment our this right pointer or right counter then uh, otherwise if it is not r that means it will be l so we can simply write else loop uh, else condition then we will simply increment l plus plus at every point we will keep checking if the number of right and l uh, l r and l are equal then we will increment our result you can see a result zero zero and i will i can also you can see here i op, i reinitialized r and l so you can, can do that without reinitializing re so if you don't want to reinitialize them then you can uh, skip them so you can see i have not uh, set them to r and uh, l to zero so you don't have to do that compulsory so you can see then we will simply return the result after we have traversed whole loop and we have found the number of substrings which have which are actually the balancing so let's see submit the solution actually so let's see this so i will also provide the code in the description as i told you so you can see it got submitted and it took uh, it took less time than 100 percent of solutions so it was actually faster than 100 percent of solution or the submissions in the lead code and it took less memory than 74.91 percent of the solutions so thank you for watching guys i hope you like this video and do subscribe to the channel and like this video and share this video with your friends for more uh, and for more such videos do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching guys